This is shuttle launch control at T minus 33 or nine minutes in holding with just uh, 30 seconds left in today's planned build and hold. At this point, the heaters inside the boosters are being turned off in preparation for launch, and our booster test conductor, Harvey Cohen, is confirming proper levels of hydrazine inside each of the booster's hydraulic power units. We're just 10 seconds away from picking up the launch countdown and continuing forward for launch of Columbia on time at 9.51 this morning. Two, Two one, one, mark. Countdown clock is now at T minus eight minutes, 56 seconds and counting. The ground launch sequencer has been activated and the STS-55 terminal countdown is underway. All of the countdown events are now being handled by the ground launch sequencer up until T minus 31 seconds when the responsibility for the countdown is handed off to Columbia's onboard computers. The launch team continuing to monitor their consoles and no problems being observed. PLT, OTC. Set. Configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. That's in work. Houston flight controllers have sent their stored programs to the shuttle Columbia to assure that we have compatible antenna frequencies to support the mission. All continuing to look very well. T minus seven minutes and 30 seconds. The ground launch sequencer has initiated retraction of the orbiter crew access arm away from Columbia. The access bridge could be positioned back in place in just 15 seconds if the need were to arise. T minus seven minutes, 12 seconds, and counting. Yes. Start your APU and hydraulic strip short recorder split the clock. Copy. T minus six minutes, twenty seven seconds and counting. All systems of Columbia continu continuing to look well. PLT OTC. APU pre-start. APU pre-start's in work. Orbiter test conductor Mike Key has just instructed pilot Tom Henricks to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. Henricks will be setting the switches in the cockpit to put the auxiliary power units in the proper pre-start configuration. Auxiliary power units will start at the T-minus five minute mark in about another 40 seconds. OTC, CLT, three, great talk back. These auxiliary power okay. units provide the power to the hydraulic pumps that control critical tasks like the movements of the orbiter's elevons, the rudders, the speed brakes, the landing gear, and the main engine thrust vector controllers. Mission Control has just transmitted a signal to start Columbia's onboard flight recorders in preparation for flight. We're just about 10 seconds away from getting a go for auxiliary power unit start. Okay, let's just go for orbiter APU start. PLT, OTC, perform APU start. Start the APUs. And CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Orbiter okay, test conductor here, Mike Key one. has given pilot Tom Henricks the command to start Columbia's auxiliary power units. Henricks replied that it's in work. Yeah, CDR heater reconfig is complete. Copy. So 
PLTC, PLT, the APUs look good. Copy that, thank you. And Tom Hendricks replying that, that the auxiliary power units look good. Just four minutes and 20 seconds away from launch of Columbia. The liquid oxygen fill and drain valve is now closed for flight. A final purge sequence of Columbia's main engines will begin in about five seconds. The chamber coolant valves on the main engines will be open to prepare for engine ignition. Columbia's aero surfaces, such as the rudder, elevons, and speed brake, are now being cycled through a program test pattern to verify that they are ready for flight. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds, and all continues to look good. We have now transferred over to internal power and are switching off ground power to Columbia. At this point, the orbiter is being powered by its onboard fuel cells. All aero surface checks are complete and reported to be in launch configuration. Columbia's three main engines are now being gimbaled and being cycled through a steering check. We're approaching the launch minus three minute mark in the count and looking to soon begin flight pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank. T minus two minutes, 55 seconds. And we have a go for retracting the gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the external tank. Purging of Columbia's main engines is now being terminated. Columbia is now running on internal power. Orbiter test conductor Mike Key requested pilot Tom Henricks to clear the ship's caution and warning memory system, and Henricks has completed the task. Two minutes and 15 seconds away from launch of STS-55. Close and lock your visors and initiate OT flow. Have a good flight. CGL Roger, thank you much. Yeah, let's go for ETLH2 pressurization. The astronauts have now closed their visors in preparation for launch. Replenishment of liquid hydrogen to the external tank is being terminated, and Columbia is now disconnected from all ground fuel loading systems. Just one minute and 34 seconds away from launch. One minute, 30 seconds. When Columbia's engines ignite in another 75 seconds, the roar of 37 million horsepower will begin. More than 7 million pounds of thrust will kick in six seconds after that when the boosters ignite and Columbia begins its journey skyward. T minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. One minute. The ground launch sequencer has verified that Columbia's three main engines are ready for ignition. The heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters have been turned off. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 31 seconds, and we have a go for auto sequence start. The handoff has occurred, and Columbia is now in control of its own launch countdown. T minus 22 seconds. 20. Columbia's vent doors are configured for launch. T minus 15, and we're coming up on a go for main engine start. 10. Yeah, let's go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4. And we have a main engine shutdown at T minus three seconds. We have a redundant set launch sequencer aboard. And Columbia is now being saved. CDR panel 06, GTC mode 5 switch to halt. CDR mode 5 to halt. 
and NCD GLS. Ignition set fix is safe. All engines are showing post shutdown standby. We'll go for orbiter APU shutdown. Uh, copy. MPL, do you have the word? We're, we're now preparing to shut down the orbiter's auxiliary power units. And the engines are safe, uh, and Columbia is being placed in a safe configuration. NCD, no MPS fire detectors are tripped at this time. Uh, copy. MPLT, perform APU shutdown. Shutting down the APUs. And CMPL and C-Log verify lock speed path is established. CMPL. I lock speed path. Copy. CMPS, uh, start LH2 topping. MPS copies. GLS primary safing is complete, and we're go for transition to G9. Copy, and what about your fire detectors, uh, GLS? We have none tripped. Okay, MPL, fire detectors. OTC, PLT, APUs are shut down. Copy. MPL, fire detectors. No fire detectors indicated. Copy. And MPL, report to order deluge status. CMPL, NTD, step 32, your order deluge status. Our water is flowing at this time. And that's the uh, heat shield. As each of water is on, uh, copy, HCD, step 33, and HCD and CLHY report leak detector status. Leak detector status is nominal, and, uh... And step 34 and 35 are good. The tank has been at the ambient. Uh, copy, and HCD, your leak detector status. Nominal, looks nominal at this time. Okay, and CLHY, your leak detector status. CLHY, NTD. LHY, I can verify leak, de leak detectors are good. Uh, copy, step 36, CGSS, OAA extended and locked. CGSS can verify the OAA is extended. Uh, copy, step 37. All personnel go to page 931 for the post abort safety checks. Columbia's pilot Tom Columbia. Henricks has confirmed that the auxiliary power units are shut down, and Al Sofji has just confirmed that the orbiter access arm is now back in place next to Columbia. Main engine engineers are, con are confirming that they see no leaks around the main engines and that they feel the vehicle is in a safe configuration. CPS verified, polling and telemetry. CCME. CCME verified. CSME. SME verified, four and five. CMPL. MPL verifies 6 and 7. CLHY. LHY verifies 8, 9, 10. CLOX. CLOX verifies 11, 12. HDD. HDD, NTD. We're looking at it this time. CGSF. GSS verifies 14. APU. APU verifies 15. CBHY. CBHY verifies 16. EPD. EPD verifies 17 and 18. Double OS. Double OS verifies 19. CBRS, CRS 20. HDD, do you have a status? Standby. Abort safety checks are complete. Proceed to recycle control sequence, sequence 18, page 1031. And when you get a status HDD, break in. Okay, sequence 18, page uh, 1032. DLS safety has started. Flight, NTD. MTD flight. Perform your recycle. Inward. It's easy. CDR OTC. CDR, go ahead. Yes, sir. Reconfigure heaters. Roger, reconfiguring heaters at this time. OTC, CDR, heater reconfig complete. MTD copy. Copy that. And CDR on panel F7. Flight control or power switch off. Go ahead. Yeah, on panel F7, flight control or power This is off. shuttle launch control. The safing of the space shuttle system continues out at launch pad 39A. Copy that, uh, PLT But at this point, it's believed that Columbia is in a safe configuration. The okay. orbiter access arm uh, is now back in position, adjacent to the hatch leading to Columbia, and the astronauts will be able to gain access to that arm. The sound, water sound suppression system out at launch pad 39A has been activated. Copy and is now and spraying down the mobile launcher platform and the aft end of the space shuttle orbiter. That's verified. Copy that. CGSS OTC. This is CGSS. Verify OAA is extended locked and configured for retract. I can verify that. Copy that. 
And OTC, CPL to verify 27, our primary shaping is complete, or go for transition to G9. Copy that. NTD copy, excuse the flight, step 28. Flight is go for a G9 transition. MPL, CLI, CLI, verify, go for transition G1 to G9. MPL, verify. CLI, verify. LA, CLI, verify. Yeah. HTD, NTD. HTD, go ahead. Yeah, what's your status? Okay, um, right now we're still looking at the aft, and it looked like we might have had a small leak, but we're down to about 100 ppm of O2 in the aft. Okay. We're down, we're decreasing. That's all you've seen? That's all you've yes, seen up to this all. point? That's okay. All. All right, so LOTC. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, step 30. Are we ready for PCM and you to remote? Stand by. OTC, ISO. Go ahead. Re ready for PCM full time. Copy that. Uh, CDR, OTC. CDR, go ahead. On panel C3, OI, PCMMU power switch off, OFF. This is Shuttle Launch Control. We have recently received confirmation that the orbiter is in a safe mode and that the astronauts should be leaving Columbia sometime within the next several minutes. Copy. The liquid hydrogen tank has been placed in stable replenish and we're beginning our post flight in, or post uh, scrub inspections of the shuttle Columbia. It is far too early to uh, We've seen indications to know what went wrong exactly this morning, but we did and, uh, go into a hold at T-minus three seconds after we had a main engine start. And it'll probably take some time before we have a good understanding okay, of exactly what happened here this morning. Go ahead and shut the water off, uh, the, the heat shield water off. Okay, and you realize we're transitioning at this point to G-9. That doesn't... We'll wait till the transition's complete. I understand. And NTD will proceed on your go. Copy. We're uh, standing by for a verification. We've transitioned to G-9. Copy. And HDD, how do you look? HTD, NTD. Who's HTD? Yeah, how do you look? Say again? Yeah, do you see any leaks? Negative, everything looks nominal right now. Okay. I right, copy. OTC DPS, go. And our G9-12960 now. Copy that. NTD. NTD copies. TBC. TBC acknowledges. And CPROP. Uh, CPROP, go. Okay, we're in G9. You can go ahead and uh, put your plan into work. I'll get here, sir. Okay, HDD and TD, step 46. Can you verify the ET inner tank O2 concentration less than 10,000 ppm? I can verify that. Copy. TPC, pick up your step 47. And NTD, TBC, I can give you step 50. ET heaters have been activated. Copy. TBC, NTD. Go ahead. Uh, stand by. RSR, NTD. RSR, NTD. RSR. Yeah, step 54. Post cutoff safety checks are complete. HDD reports no leaks. Fire and leak detector status is satisfactory. Request concurrence to proceed with SRB, SNA saving. Uh, Roger, go ahead and proceed with SRB, SNA saving. Copy, step 55 OTC, SRB, SNA saving. Copy that. C power OTC. C power, go ahead. Verify ignition, SNA is safe. Verify. AT C prop. Go ahead, C prop. Top and wide drain is complete. Looks good. Uh, water is off with the heat shield. Uh, copy. DPS, CPD, OTC. DPS go. 50 BD. 
The EU equivalent to that critical commands will be issued momentarily. GPS copies. GPS copies. GLS OTC. GLS go. Perform FOB, RSS, SNA safing. Copy that. Ten work. CDR OTC. CDR go. Yes, sir. Go ahead and open your visors now, sir. Okay, thank you. OTC CGLS, SLB, RSS, SNAs are saved, and MEC critical commands are disabled. Uh, copy that. NTD copies. TLT, OTC. Go, sir. On panel R2. MPS, helium isolation A, left center and right switches to GPC. Okay, the helium ISO A's are going to GPC. That's complete. Copy that, and helium isolation B, left center and right switches to GPC. That's complete. And pneumatic helium isolation switch, GPC. Complete. Copy, thank you. STM, did you pick up step 62? STM, step, STM. STM. step 62. That's firm. Safety console entity. Safety, go ahead. Yeah, step 63, SRB ring safety, S SNAs and net critical commands disabled, request safety concerns. This is shuttle launch control. Safing of the Space Shuttle Columbia continues out at launch pad 39A. And we are now waiting for some word on when the crew might be able to leave the orbiter. The crew seems uh, fit, and there are no problems inside the orbiter. And we're still in the problem of trying to track down why we had a main engine shutdown this morning, three seconds before Columbia would have lifted off on STS-55. It is far too early to hypothesize on any potential launch date or even what occurred here this morning, but we can confirm that we will not be making a launch attempt tomorrow, and any days beyond that will have to be determined by shuttle managers. Safety console, pack NTD. Safety. Pack and security console NTD. But safing of the shuttle Columbia continues. Security console Troubleshooting NTD. of the main engines will continue for some time. Close that crew and, and we'll just stand by and hear information as it comes from the crew. Entity. Safety. We're going to take the close that crew to uh, AD5 and uh, stand by there until we get into lock screen. Copy. Thank you, sir. TBC NTD. Go ahead. NTD TBC, go ahead. Step 69, you can perform EP lock screen and verify LH2 and terminal account station or replenish. TBC copy. And you can return to your normal operating channel. TBC copy. NTD to say to you. Go ahead, ATU. Yeah, heater activation was successful and the temperature has come back up. Understand. You copy that, SP? SP, copy. OTC, NTD. Go ahead. Okay, your LH2 research pumps, are they operating? If they are, you've got to go to turn them off for step 72. Okay, MPS, OTC. MPS, OTC. This MPS? Yeah, our uh, LH2 research pumps, are they in operation? Oh, they've been terminated. Copy that. And OTC, do we need to do a uh, drain before we uh, get into LH2 drain? That's a potable water tank drain. ECL, OTC. ECL? Yeah. Uh, step 74. Are we going to need a tank drain, potable water? We're checking into that now. I think we got quite a while before we have to initiate it. Okay. Uh, let me know as quickly as you can, please. Will do. And HCD, NTD. HCD? Yeah, have you seen any leaks? Negative. Copy. And NTD OTC, uh, I'll give you step 76. Critical staging is complete, uh, pending a decision, of course, on the water drain. All right, copy. ST, NTD. ST, go ahead. Okay, uh, what uh, what caused the abort? Uh, let me just ask me to uh, brief us all. The only indication we got was um, the engine 3 limit exceeded, but I need further definition. I understand it's oxidized the pre-burner pressure, though. Yes, sir, Timmy. Just see it to me. 
Uh, we got an indication that we had a uh, shutdown limit uh, parameter exceeded. Um, the oxidizer pre-burner purge pressure, uh, and I think David showed it spiked at about 111 psi, the allowable 50. And okay. I checked from start to start plus 2.28 seconds. And looks like we had a failure of a check valve. All uh, right, copy. TBC and TV. Go ahead. Okay, let us know when we're in stable terrain. Copy. And uh, would you give us an estimate, please? Get that way. CDR and TV. CDR, go ahead. Okay, Steve, uh, you know, unfortunately we're not going to fly today. Uh, and uh, the status uh, where we are at this point is we're waiting to get into lock stable drain. And once we get into stable drain, uh, we'll put actions in work to, uh, to get the closeout crew out there and uh, to get you, uh, get you out of the ship. Okay, thanks, Al. We're doing fine. Okay. And TV, TVC. Go ahead, TVC. Yes, sir. Lock should be in stable drain in about three minutes. Copy. And can you, TBC, can you verify step step two on 77 EPLH2 in terminal account spacing, configuration, or stable replenish? That's for us, sir. Uh, hydrogen is in terminal account there. Copy. Safety Council entity. Safety. Okay, the only thing we're waiting on at this point is to get locked in a stable drain, and then we'll be coming to you for a go to send the cruise out. Copy that, sir. That's step 78. Copy. Safety Council entity. Safety. Yes. Stand by. SCM entity. Go ahead. Yeah, we need you to verify step uh, 79. Okay, I can verify, verify that as good at uh, 21.12. I'll copy that. SCM copy. Safety console entity. Safety. Did you copy step 79 of 02 as 21.12? Copy that, sir. SCM entity. Go ahead. Activate the pad OIS. In work. OTC ECL. Go ahead. After step 74, uh, per our current water production rate, we will want to do a pub order tank A drain. Okay, ECL, this is NTD. Um, how long uh, do you have before you uh, you get in trouble on that? What what number of hours you got? We have approximately. This is shuttle launch control. We're still in the process of completely safing the Space Shuttle Columbia, and in a couple of minutes, we expect to have our uh, liquid oxygen tank. Stable, and at that point, we'll we will go ahead and send the Astro van out to the launch pad and begin deboarding the seven astronauts from Columbia. At this point, we are still not sure exactly what caused this morning's engine shutdown, but we will be looking at data coming that came back from the engines over the next several hours, and would expect to have a press conference uh, related to this sometime within the next couple of hours. We have confirmation from the NASA test director, Al Sofchi, that the Astro van is now on its way out to launch pad 39A and that the astronauts are safe and will soon be deboarding the orbiter Columbia. This is shuttle launch control. OTC, EPD. Go ahead, EPD. Yeah, I uh, would like to go ahead and establish GUC power if I have the concurrence to reduce loads on fuel cells at this time. Do I have your concurrence? It's going to be part of the EPD recycle. Yes, you have my concurrence. ECL entity. ECL. Yeah, we want to drain the minimum amount of water um, that we can drain to get us through uh, through uh, the actual uh, detanking of LH2 and safety. I copy that. Entity STM 232. Go ahead, STM. Step 89 is complete. I copy the uh, OIS is activated. That's fine. Okay, this is NTD on uh, 212. Uh, all all TCs, uh, you can go ahead and pick up on your element recycles. That's step 84 OTC. OTC copy. TDC. TDC copy. STM. STM copy. LPS. LPS copies, and we're still waiting word on going back to hardline. Copy. RPS. RPS. Did you, did you copy? You can pick up your element recycle. That's coming in. And PTC. And PTC copy. Okay, all test team personnel return to your normal command channel. Over will remain on 212, and PD going to 232. And the OTC on 212, all over the personnel perform subsystem. Recycle operations for sequence 19, section 3. And MPS and MPL support locks and hydrogen for 1003 and 1004 and report completion. HDD, uh, OTC. HDD? Yeah, step 3, monitor uh, HDDS for recycle operations. Report Copy. any indications on 212. Copy that. 
And MP on copies. RTC FCP. Go. Yeah, get out. MTC on 153, I'd like to go ahead and perform our uh, transfer to internal react uh, external reaction. CMTC 153, please. Copy. SAO. OTC ECL. Go. Per our recycle steps of sequence 19, cabin venting will be required. Copy that. Let us know when you're ready, ECL. Uh, ECL is ready to start that now. Okay, uh, CDR OTC. CDR, go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead, ECL. Uh, ECL CDR on panel L2. Go ahead. Cabin vent, vent isolation switch open until you get an open talk back. Roger, vent isolation is open, talk back open. And cabin vent switch to open, open talk back. And uh, vent is coming open, talk back open. And you may get a mass alarm due to cabin pressure decay rate. Roger. OTC CGLS 212. Go ahead. Yes, sir, we'll need a CMTC on channel 162 for our recycle. CMTC 162, please. Coming. OTC DPS. Go ahead. Our recycle, I need to switch pulling to LDB2 and like to form LPS for the change. LPS, OTC. LPS, copy. CPOP, OTC. CPOP, yeah. Need, need you on 161, please. This is Shuttle Launch Control. Emergency support personnel are now out on the 195 foot level at launch pad 39A. These include paramedics and members of the closeout crew, which uh, only an hour or so ago latched the door of the Space Shuttle Columbia. The closeout crew will be opening the hatch of Columbia, and within the next several minutes, we fully expect the seven. STS-55 astronauts to begin deboarding. The Astro van is now out at the launch pad and ready to take the astronauts back to the operation yeah, and checkout yeah. building once they make it down from the launch tower. Yes, sir, uh, we need to uh, work some of We have confirmed that Columbia is now in a safe configuration. Panel 08, please. Go ahead. Managers here in the launch control center, room, firing room one, are busily meeting over uh, the engine problem and discussing exactly what occurred just three seconds before we would have had a launch of STS-55. At this point it appears that all three engines of Columbia were up and running and that we had a shutdown of one engine and a subsequent shutdown of the other two. Again, the astronauts are in good shape and are in the process of getting the hatch open of Columbia so that they can deboard and head back to the operations and checkout building. This is shuttle launch control. Okay, I copy that, sir. Go ahead. Cabin pressure is stable at 14.84 PSI, and we're ready to close the cabin vent valve. Copy that. Uh, CDR is here. Go ahead, sir. Uh, CDR ECL on panel L2. CDR, go ahead. Cabin vent. Vent isolation switch closed. Verify closed. Talk back. Okay, vent isolation coming closed. Talk back closed. And vent switch closed. Closed. Talk back. Roger. Vent switch closed. Talk back closed. Thanks, CDR. OTC, OVC, thing. Go ahead, sir. Looking for a go to open the crew hatch. Crew hatch. You have a go, sir. Thank you. OTC, CPVD. Go ahead, PVD. I would suspect once that hatch is open, uh, we may need to open some vent doors. Uh, they haven't got the O2 monitor uh, hanging up in the white room yet, though. Yeah, copy that. OTC, PLT's back on com. Okay, uh, copy that, sir. I'll read you loud and clear now. Okay, and PLT, uh, need you on panel 08, please. Go ahead. Okay, left ohms, tank isolation, A switch, GPC. 
Verified. And talk back open. Verified. D switch, GPC, and talk back open. All verified. Left arms cross feed, A switch, GPC, A talk back closed. Verified. And D switch, GPC. And uh, tell me what position. Say again. Uh, it is GPC, the talk back is closed. Copy that, closed, thank you. Right on, tank isolation, A and B switches, GPC, and talk backs open. Uh, that's verified. Copy, right on the cross feed. A and B switches, GPC, talkbacks closed. That's verified. Copy, forward RCS, helium press. A and B switches, GPC, talkbacks open. Okay, they're in open now. I understand you want me to take the helium to GPC. That's affirmative. That's complete, the talkbacks are open. Copy. Tank isolation. One slash two switch. GPC. Talk back open. Verified. Three four five switch. GPC. Talk back open. Verified. Manifold isolation. One two and three switches. GPC. I'm sorry. One two three four five switches. GPC. All talk backs open. That's verified. Copy that. Then on 07. Go ahead. Aft left, RCS, helium press. A and B switches, GPC, talk back open. Both are GPC, talk backs are open. Copy that. Manifold isolation, five switches, GPC, talk backs open. Verified. Copy, aft right, RCS, helium press, A and B switches, GPC, talkbacks open. That's complete, the talkbacks are open. Copy that, and manifold isolation, five switches, GPC, talkback open. That's verified. Copy that, and on 014. Go ahead. Row F, RJDA 1A, L2R2 manifold. Driver and logic switches off. Uh, stand by. Copy. OTC PLT, go ahead and repeat your last. Okay. On uh, 014 row F, RJ DA 1A, L2R2 manifold, driver and logic switches off, OFF. Uh, that's complete. Copy, RJ DA 2A, L4R4 manifold, driver and logic switches off. RJD F1B, F1 manifold, driver and logic switches off. That's complete. And left zone's engine valve switch off. Complete. And on uh, 015. And OTC PLT, we just had a mass alarm, we suspect it was high cabin press. Uh, copy that. No, they just opened the hatch. Right. And, uh, PLT ready on 015. This is Shuttle. Members of the astronaut closeout crew have just opened the hatch of the Space Shuttle Columbia, and the seven astronauts should begin their egress from the orbiter within the next couple of minutes. While we are still trying to identify a cause for today's main engine shutdown, this is not the first time this has occurred in the space shuttle program. We have had two previous main engine shutdowns, the first of which occurred on the orbiter Discovery.
back on June 26 of 1984, and that was Discovery's first mission on STS-41D. The engines shut down four seconds before flight in that case. The second pre-launch shutdown occurred on Shuttle Mission 51F, which is, was a uh, Space Lab flight of Challenger back on July 12th of 1985. However, this is the first time in the post-Challenger era that we have had a main engine shutdown on the launch pad. That's complete. RJDF, RJD Manifold, L5, S5, R5, driver switch. Columbia is in a safe configuration, and members of the closeout crew are now configuring uh, safety apparel around the door of the orbiter and uh, putting a purge line into the space shuttle orbiter. Right back to you in a minute, TLT, CDR, OTC. CDR, go ahead. Yes, sir, on panel C3. Roger, go ahead. Ohm's engine, left and right switches off. Roger, Ohm's engine, left and right are off, OFF. Copy that. Double OS, OTC. Go ahead. Step 5, step 27. Can I verify that? Thank you. Complete. Copy. And PLT, OTC. Okay, S is in the orbiter. Copy that. PLT, OTC. Members of the closeout crew are now inside the Space Shuttle Columbia, and we should be seeing the first of our seven astronauts fairly shortly. Fuel cell one, two, and three switches off. No, sorry, I have to repeat that. You were stepped on. Okay, panel R1, power distribution, essential bus source. Fuel cell one, two, and three switches off. That's verified. Copy that. Uh, CDR OTC. CDR, go ahead. Yes, sir, on panel 013. Stand by one. Captain. Okay, uh, go ahead with the 013 step. Okay, uh, row A, essential 1DC, main A controller breaker open. This is Shuttle Launch Control, and we're now seeing the first of our seven astronauts coming out of the orbiter. That's German payload specialist Dr. Ulrich Walther. This is the first astronaut to come out of Columbia. Egress of the other astronauts is underway. That's complete. Copy that. Thank you, sir. And PLT OTC. Payload Commander right. Jerry Ross has just uh, exited uh, Columbia and has taken off his helmet. Go ahead. And we'll be heading down the elevator with Dr. Volter fairly shortly. The 232, please. Copy. This is Shuttle Launch Control. Egress of the STS-55 astronauts is continuing to go smoothly. German payload specialist Hans Schlegel has just deboarded the ship and will be headed down to the ground at the shuttle launch pad. And we see STS-55 pilot Tom Henricks now leaving Columbia. Uh, OTC to all personnel uh, on 212. Uh, there will be a meeting to discuss the... Uh, Later today, we, we will begin draining the external tank of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and continue with our safing operation of the Space Shuttle Columbia as the day progresses. We still have no word on the exact cause of today's engine shutdown at T minus three seconds. And study of this problem will continue 
for at least the next several hours. Disconnected from COM at this time. Copy that, thank you. Perfect to you. And Columbia Commander Steve Nagel now deboarding the ship. All of the STS-55 astronauts are now out of the space shuttle orbiter and on their way down to the Astro van. From the ground level of the launch pad, the astronauts will drive to the operation and checkout building and they will be debriefed on what happened here this morning just three seconds before they were to lift off on STS-55.